seen a helicopter, you see my quadcopter. Hopefully they've helped you build one yourself. Today I'm going to do a simple airplane. Start off with a basic cockpit. I'm going to throw a liquid fuel tank on the front and back of this. I'm going to put a extra tank on the back just for counterweight. I like to have these things uh, center of mass be as close to the middle as you can get it. That way it doesn't try to nosedive as soon as you take off and get off the ground. Uh, normally I'm using the electric rotors. Today I'm going to use the standard turbo shaft engine. Just going to do this real quick. Throw some wings on. End up adjusting these here in a little bit. Don't need you yet. Toss that back. Like I said, if you've seen my other builds, I'm not, I'm not trying to build, you know, the the sexiest craft. I'm not trying to build the coolest, most elaborate thing. I'm trying to keep these simple. That way, you know, you just get a general idea of, hey, this is pretty much bare minimum you need to get it off the ground. So, you know, you can make your own cool thing after this. If you do, post it. I want to see it. I want to see, you know, hey, check out this cool thing you helped me build. Or don't. Your call. Some wings. I just like, you don't really need this. I just like throwing it on here for a little bit of style. Here's your basic concept. I mean, this is, like I said, it's just, just as simple as you can get it. Next up, propellers. And every single time I forget to set this to quad before. Come here. Come on, there you go. Okay, we got our propellers on, so we're going to make sure we deploy them. We're going to throw the Cal 1000 controller on here. Let's go ahead and hook that up before we forget. So just like the other ones, we're going to attach the authority limiter to this. They're running clockwise, so we're going to want to go negative at the end. But remember, always... Always put a point here at 2.5 seconds because that is where it will be at when you're at zero throttle. It doesn't it doesn't zero out down here on zero throttle. It zeroes out in the middle. So we're gonna run this down. 64.54, sure, why not? Now since we're in the action groups, we'll go ahead and put this on our main throttle play position if you haven't seen the other ones what this will do is rotate the angle of the wing or the propellers uh, with the main throttle and that's what will give us our forward thrust is the angle of the propeller imagine sticking your hand out a car window flat while you're driving down the highway and it doesn't go anywhere but if you turn your hand up a little bit your hands gonna go flying up through the air and that's kinda of the same concept that we're getting here with our lift so now we just need some wheels small wheel medium wheels we're gonna move these in a second all right, so our center of mass is right here. I like it a little bit farther back, like I said, about halfway. So I'm going to take the liquid fuel out of this engine. And that moves our center of mass back. And we can move our center of lift a little bit farther back. And we want to make sure our wheels are 
behind the center of mass, but not too far behind or it'll make it hard to take off. The little trick I use to get all this lined up for the runway, holy shit, get back over there. So I like to take this all the way down to the ground, touch off my front wheel as close as I can, and just double check, you know. Front wheel's pretty much on the surface. These are clipping a little bit, so we'll just take these up a notch. It's not it's not really a bad idea to have your rear wheels a little bit higher than your front wheel. That'll help you get off the ground a little bit easier. But see, we got our wheels just a little bit behind the center of mass, and that's pretty good. I think that's everything. You want to make sure the propellers are actually at zero, which they are. Just check this. You see, if, if you're at zero here, and your propeller isn't uh, sideways, then it's not going to work right. And for whatever reason, sometimes these airplane propellers don't don't do what you want them to do. So I'll flip it forward. Deploy. See now, now we're at zero, and now from the side view, we're looking at a straight edge here. That's what we want. And remember the the gray the gray line here should be on your direction of rotation. So if this is set clockwise, it's going to spin clockwise. So the the leading edge here should be on the right side. And I think that's everything we need. Let's try it out. All right. So one thing I forgot to add with surface controls or control surfaces to the back uh, wings here so it wouldn't get off the ground so should be good now we'll apply the brake turn our torque limit all the way up then as we push our main throttle forward it adjusts the angle on the propellers which gives us forward thrust and hopefully at around 60, 70 meters per second, we'll get off the ground. The plane jumps around a little bit, and that's because it's using gigantic wheels on the back, so it's kind of stiff. A little bit faster. And then hopefully we can get off the ground here. There we go. As you're flying, you're going to notice the plane. One, it, it kind of, it kind of, it's it's nose heavy, so it wants to it wants to nose dive. But it has a slight roll to the right, and that's because it's a single prop with no counter torque. So the body of the plane is the counter torque. In my next video, I'm going to do contra blades. So two sets of propellers running opposite directions, and your counter torque's achieved through that as opposed to uh, the whole body of the plane naturally rolling. But yeah, so simple prop plane. Uh, follow along if you have questions. Uh, you can ask wherever I post this. Leave a comment on YouTube. Whatever you want to do. Let's try to land this thing from inside the cabin. As I throttle back, it'll lose speed. And hit the brakes. There we go. Alright, thanks for watching. Like I said, next week I'm going to do Contra Blades. And, uh,. I don't know, I have to start getting some ideas of what to do next. Thanks for watching.